Welcome to this, the second video on data warehousing. My name's Andy Wicks, and in the first video, we looked at the general theory of data warehousing, ETL, extraction, transformation, loading. Now we're going to go a little deeper into that theory. There are four stages, at least, that you need to go through, and an optional fifth, which I'll explain at the end. The first stage is to decide on which DBMS you want to use and why. You may want to use Access or MySQL or SQL Server, whichever one it is that's relevant for your particular task. It'll depend on what your organisation uses and which one you are most comfortable using. The second stage is to create a new database that's going to hold the raw data you're going to use. This raw data will come from all sorts of sources. It might come from spreadsheets, from text files, from other databases. Each of these will become a separate table in this raw database. So, for example, if you have a spreadsheet with three or four sheets in it, you may find that importing each of these sheets into a separate table is a good move. You could import your text file into the database. You import the, uh, another database table into your database. And the database may be from a different DBMS. You'll have to find the ways of doing that, and that's the subject of later videos. The third stage is to create another new database. This is the one where you're going to transform the data from the raw format that you had in the first database into another properly normalized database. So you need to think about the normalization process before you start this transformation process. Make sure you have a suitable ERD available, create the ERD, and then transform the data from the first database into this new one so that you have a properly laid out set of tables one that you can use properly to create the next stage the next stage stage four is to create a new database a third one with a database that's going to reflect your questions that you're going to need to answer this is going to be the data warehouse you'll have to think about the ERD for that new one that ERD is going to reflect the questions themselves. So for this particular question, which bits of data do I need? And you're going to put those bits of data into this fourth data warehouse. The data warehouse itself may then be split into data marts uh, where you restrict particular users to particular tables. But don't worry about that at the moment. That's a much later problem. The main thing is that you get the extraction, transformation and loading all sorted out in separate databases. That way you can be sure that you can check every stage that you need. Hope you found this helpful.